Great, great morning. Great, great morning. Great, great morning, awesome people. Great, great morning. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Great, great morning, awesome people. Great, great morning. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5 a.m. Great, great morning, awesome people. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. This is Reverend Allison. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5 a.m. I am so glad you're up. So glad you're ready for another awesome day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 and be glad in it for another day's journey. Realize that it could have been the other way, but that God found favor in me. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5 a.m. M. Great, great morning, awesome people. Great, great morning. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5 a.m. Woohoo! Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Okay, now I can see everybody. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5. Welcome to another episode of Motivational Monday with uh, Reverend Allison. Welcome to my Facebook Live at 5 a.m. And the scripture for this morning is Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 5th verse. That's Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 5th verse. And it reads, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. And you know I always love to give you another translation. And so the Message Bible says, Don't be obsessed with getting more materials. Be relaxed with what you have. Since God assured us, I'll never let you down. Never walk off and leave. We can boldly quote, God is there, ready to help. I'm fearless no matter what, who or what can get to me. So I want you to meditate on this today. Be content with what you have. Just be content. Be thankful for what you have today. Be content in this season and cast all your cares, all your concerns, anything that you're going through. Be content in this season and cast whatever it is you're going through over to the Lord. God is still with you. God is still keeping you. So you keep your faith in the Lord. You continue to seek him at all, um, at any time. Let God know that um, you trust him with your whole heart. Just be content in this season. Move past your past. Let go some things. Hold on to those things that, um, you know, are of value to you. But don't treasure them so much that if they should, um, you know, be taken away, you know, you're, you're kind of like all out of sorts. But be content with what God has already given you in this season. Keep looking ahead, always trusting in the Lord. Be assured in God's word. Because he will hold you up. For God is still moving, shifting, and changing things for you in this pandemic season. God is still doing things. God is still moving. God is still blessing. God is still healing. And God is still delivering in this season. That's why I said be content with what you have right now. Be content with with what God is doing in this season. And don't be wise in your own eyes. But fear the Lord and depart from doing evil. Don't try to work things out as far as doing things on your own. Seek God for his wisdom. Um, trust God with everything that you have. And don't lean to your understanding. Lean unto his understanding. Delight yourself in him. 
focus in on him. Get your focus back. Get your focus back um, on the Lord and see what it is um, he has for you. See how he wants you to line things up. See how he has strategically put things in place that will help you. Don't be dismayed about what's going on around you. For God will give you his strength to sustain you. God will give you his peace to sustain you. God will give you his joy to sustain you. Be content. He will give you what you need to carry you through every season, every day of your life. You have to be content. You have to be humble. You have to be grateful. You have to be thankful. Even in this season of uncertainty, you still should be thankful. You still should be thanking God for just, you know, having you here another day. Um, I say this all the time. It's in the word of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that he made. If I'm alive and I'm in the land of the living, I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. That's why I always say great, great morning, because it's a great, great morning to me. I made it one more day. I made it in the land of the living. Be content in this season and look unto God and not unto man for the will and the purpose for your life. Look unto God for confidence. Look unto God for hope. When you feel hopeless, look unto God when you feel weary, when you feel like you can't go on, look unto God. Why? Because God still reigns like never before. God reigns over all of our circumstances. God reigns because he is a just God. So no matter what you may be feeling in this season, don't turn back. Don't look back. Don't give in. Don't give up. Be content right now with what you have. Be thankful right now for all that God has done in your life thus far. Be humble enough to recognize what he has already laid before you, what he has already done just for you. Continue to trust that God will sustain you. Continue to trust that God will forever hold you up because you trust him with everything. See, when you are content with the things that you have, when you are content with your family, when you are content with, um, you know, your job, knowing that God blessed you with that job, knowing that God blessed you with that family, you know, that's why his word says, let your conversations be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he will never leave nor forsake thee. Be content with what, what you have. Be happy. Be joyful with what you have, with what God has given you. Because he's given each one of us something different. But we have to be thankful for that. We have to, you know, be faithful over what he's already given us. In this season, be content in this season. Speak God's word over your home. Speak God's word over your uh, environment. Speak God's word over your family. Speak God's word over your children. Speak God's word over your finances. Speak God's word over your health. Speak God's word over your entire life. Speak life and rebuke fear. See, we have to start rebuking things, things that may come up, that don't line up with what um, God is saying to you. It doesn't line up with the promises that God has promised you. We have to start rebuking that. We have to start rejecting that. We have to start, you know, just saying no. You know, we have to be content with what God ha has given us, but we don't want to be so um, lax that we allow other things to start entering in, that we're so lax that, you know, we're, we have stopped reading our Bible because we're so, so content 
you know, that we, we're not recognizing when the enemy comes in and, and throws a monkey wrench, wrench in our situation. But what God wants us to do in this season is to be content. When you speak God's word over your circumstances, he will give you peace. When you speak God's word over your circumstances, his peace will supersede any doubt that you have. When you speak God's word over your circumstances, his peace become your framework and your sure foundation. When you seek God's word over your circumstances, his peace will lead you. When you seek God's word over your circumstances, his peace will become your rock. God is your fortress. He is forever with you, no matter what you're going through right now. Be content in this season. Be content to trust God to see you through it. Be content with whatever it is that he has already given you. Because whatever it is, his peace will um, sustain you. His peace will pass. Um, the peace of God will pass all understanding, passes all understanding. And it will keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Let his peace keep you. Let his peace become your peace. See, when you are content with your life and when you are content with your family and when you are content with um, the job that God has given you, you're content with your business, you are at peace. <clears throat> Excuse me. And even if you're not at peace for this season right now, al allow his peace to become your peace. Allow his joy to become your joy. Allow the, the love that you have in your heart become the same love that Jesus has in his heart. He's only saying in this season, you know, learn how to be content. Learn how to be thankful for the things that you have. I am forever thankful. I'm forever grateful for all that he has done in my life and that he continues to do. And see, when you get to the point in your life where you're content, you're at peace, you know, God can use you because you're not all over the place. You're not um, going from here and there seeking an answer from this person and an answer from that person. You're not everywhere. You're content with where you are. And you're going to stay focused right there for God to work in you and through you and develop you and prepare you for what it is, what assignment he has specifically for you. That's why he wants you to be content. Because, see, when you are content, God can release things to you. When you are um, content in this season, God can trust you with the things that he needs you to carry out. In this um, pandemic season, you know, because I always say this, that um, this pandemic season, it, it, this um, pandemic season, it has an expiration date. It won't be like this forever. This too shall pass. So when it all, when it's all said and done, are you content enough to be able to just stay focused long enough for God to do what he needs to do right now? God is doing things right now to make a difference in someone's life, to make a difference in your life, to make a difference in my life. God is showing me things. He's revealing things to me. He's releasing things from me. He's restoring things back to me. God is still doing things. God is still, you know, he's still healing. He's still, he's still answering prayers. We just have to be content with what we have. This, if if this um, pandemic didn't uh, teach us anything, it should have taught us how to be thankful for what we already have, how to be thankful for family, how to be thankful for our spouses, how to be thankful for our children, how to be thankful, you know, that God still has a roof over our head, how to be thankful that um, we still have a job. 
in this season, we just have to be thankful because I, I, I say this too. Someone didn't wake up this morning. Someone didn't make it to see this day. Someone closed their eyes in heaven. Someone just didn't make it uh, in this season, in this day, September the 7th. Someone didn't make it. And um, we have to be thankful. We have to be content knowing that God loves us. He cares about us. He knows all that we're going through. All we have to do is start praying, interceding, believing, having confidence in the Lord, reading our Bible every day, meditating on his word, trusting in his word, believing in his word, because you can read God's word and then you add other things to it and then you stop believing what you're reading. Believe God's word. His word is true. Take God at his word. Knowing that God has assured you that he will never leave you. He will never let you down. He will never stop loving you. He will never stop caring for you. Take God at his word. Knowing that he's for you. He's for you. He's not against you. He loves you. He has kept you in the land of the living. He has kept you for such a time as this. He has held his hands. He has his hands upon you. He has his un unchanging hands always, always with you. He's directing you. He's um, ordering your steps. He's guiding you. He's showing you the way to go. Be content in this season. You don't have to have everything right now. You don't have to have everything that you think you have to have right now. Thank God that you have your health. Thank God that you can move around. Thank God that you're not in the hospital. Thank God that, you know, you're not on the side of the road with everything that's going on. It's such a trickle-down effect with everything that's going on. Um, anything could be happening right now in your life. I'm talking about anything could be happening. I can't even name some of the things that really could be happening in your life that God has shielded you from it. There's so many things that could have, should have, would have happened, but God protected you. God built a fence around you, and he stopped whatever was supposed to come your way. He kept whatever was supposed to entangle you. He kept whatever was supposed to um, steal your joy, steal your peace. He kept whatever was supposed to take your mind, that was supposed to take you up out of here, that was supposed to make you turn back. That's why I said be content in this season. Just keep saying to yourself, I'm going to be content in this season. I'm going to be content right now with all the things that God has given me. Be content with what God has given you and enjoy the things that he has given you. Enjoy the things that God has blessed you with. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Take time out to enjoy each other. Take time out to go do things together. Be at peace with what you have. Be at peace with what God has been giving you that God has already given to you. Spot, start speaking positive words out of your mouth. Start just, you know, start somewhere. Start somewhere saying something positive out of your mouth. I made it another day and I'm thankful. I can see and I'm thankful. I can speak, and I'm thankful. I don't have the ache nor the pain that I had from yesterday or two days ago. I'm thankful. Just find something to be thankful for. All of us can name at least three things that we're thankful for. Be content in this season. Be thankful, be grateful, be hopeful. And if it's anything, Lord, help me to change my mind so that I can stay focused on you. Help me to change my mind 
so that I can stay focused on your word. If you're not content with all that God has given you in this season, all that God has blessed you with thus far, ask God to change your mind. Ask God to help you see what he sees. Ask God to, 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 to know, fix your heart. Fix your mind. Ask God to do that so that you can be content right now with what he has for you, what he's already done for you. If he doesn't do anything else for you in this season, be thankful for what he's already done. If you've made it through another day, your family, your friends, your spouse, your parents, your co-workers, come on now. Be content with all that God has given you. Be forever grateful. Even in this season, I will yet praise him. Even in this season, I will yet praise him past the issues, past the circumstances, past everything that I'm going through. I will yet praise him. I will have a, a grateful heart. I will praise him no matter what. God is still worthy. He's still worthy of our praise. Maybe today you couldn't get out of bed, but at least you could sit up and just, you know, lift up your voice. Father, I thank you. Maybe this was one of those days, you know, where you have gone through some things all through the week. And you just didn't feel like, you know, just getting up and moving around. But thank God you're in your right mind to know that. You know, some days we don't always feel like, you know, moving around and doing things and going places and, you know, just, you know, talking to people. And it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. In this season, it's okay to not be okay, but ask God to bring your focus back. Ask God to bring your hope back. Ask God to restore your joy back, to restore your love back, to restore your faith back. It's okay to not be okay. Sometimes we, we put so much on ourselves that all we have to say is, God, I'm not okay. It's okay not to always be okay. It's okay to not be okay. Be content where you are. And if you're not okay, just say, God, I'm not okay. God, this happened and I'm not okay. God, this didn't happen and I'm not okay. God, I, I need a word. God, I need a healing. God, I need deliverance. It's okay to not be okay. Let God be your strength. Let God sustain you. Let God build you back up. Let God's word work in you to change you, to heal you, to restore you, to renew you, to build you back up. Be content in this season, but it's okay to not be okay. You know, some of us are so strong, we're so strong that we don't even want to call on God. We're so strong that we don't even want to ask God, God, I'm not okay. God, I'm hurting. God, this happened. I'm not okay. It's okay to not be okay. God, I'm not okay with the decision that you made. But I'm content with the decision that you made. But I'm not okay with it, God. And I need you to, to give me some understanding. And I need you to give me some peace. See, there are certain um, decisions that God make over our life that we just may not be okay with. And it's okay to not be okay. But seek God. I didn't say seek man. I said seek God for his wisdom, for his understanding, for his clarity. It's okay to not be okay. You can't be strong at everything. You can't be strong 
at everything, every area of your life. That's why I said I surrendered everything unto God. I gave God my everything. Because I know that there was going to come a time when I wasn't going to be okay. There was going to come a time when I, when I just felt like I was falling apart. I knew that there was going to come a time when I just didn't know um, what I was going to do in certain seasons and certain areas of my life. And it's okay to not be okay, but be content in this season with what God has given you, with what God has already done in your life. And if you need clarity, if you need peace, if you need understanding, if you need to make some decisions, seek God. I always tell people, do not make permanent decisions in a temporary season. This is a temporary season. And it's okay to not be okay. You don't have to make a decision right now. You don't have to let people kind of like bombard you to make a decision that you're so unsure of making. Just step away. Go to the word of God and say, God, I'm not okay. And I need you. I'm not okay with the decision that people want me to make. So I'm seeking you. It's okay not to be okay. Give yourself permission to say, I'm not okay. I don't understand everything that's going on around me. I'm not okay. I don't understand, you know, why this happened. I'm not okay, God. I need clarity. I need you to intercede on my behalf. I need you, God, to come into my life. I need the presence of the Lord to come into my situation. It's okay to not be okay. But be content in the Lord. Be content in what he has already done in your life. Be content in the assurance of what he has already done in your life. It's okay for you not to be okay because we know that God is okay. We know that God has everything under control. God is not, not out of control. God has everything under control. So when we're all out of sorts and we're all ev everywhere, all we have to do is sit still. Be still and know that he is God. Be still and know that he is God and know it's okay not to be okay. Just ask God, what is it that you need to be doing in this season? What is it that's um, distracting you, that's taking you off your focus? Because we put so much on us that when we start not knowing which way we want to go, you know, people think that something is wrong with us because we don't know all of the areas that we need um, healing in. We need a deliverance in. We don't know because everything, there's so much going on right now in this world, right now. It's like an uproar of chaos. There's so much going on that I'm saying to you that it's okay to not be okay, but seek God, not man, not woman, seek God, tell him all about it, ask him what it is that you need to do, because you're not okay, but it's okay not to be okay when you can seek God for answers. As strong as I am, and, I, and, and I, I'm strong, I'm an awesome leader, I'm an awesome mom, I'm, I'm an awesome wife, I'm an awesome daughter, I'm an awesome sister. I mean, I'm, I'm just strong. I am just a strong person. I'm just a focused, organized person. But there comes a time in my life where I've had to say many times, God, I'm not okay. And I'm content with saying to God, who has my best interests at heart, I'm not okay. I don't have the answer, God. I'm not okay with the decision that was just made. I'm just not okay. But I'm content. And I'm at peace with whatever the decision 
that you have decided to make, I'm content and I'm at peace with that because I have, I know that you have my best interests at heart, but I'm not okay. And I give myself permission to say to myself, I'm not okay. And it's okay for me not to be okay because I don't have the answers for everything. I just don't. You know, no matter how much, you know, I try to convince myself that, you know, I have everything under control. No, God has me under control. God is keeping me. God is um, protecting me. God is, you know, giving me his words of wisdom because I'm nothing without him. You know, I can't breathe without him. I can't speak without God. So it's God that keeps me together. When you see me smiling, that's God. When you see me laughing, that's God. Because there are situations and times when I'm not okay. And I'm okay with not being okay. You know, because I know that God is in control of my life. And so that's why I say to you, um, be content in this season. Be thankful. Be grateful for what God has done in your life and what God is going to continue to do in your life because God has your best interests at heart. And listen, um, as I get ready to close, I always say this because I, I believe it deep down in my heart. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. This peace that I have, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. That's why I don't focus on everything that's around me, but I focus on God. And remember, as I close out, your purpose still stands regardless of your past. Your purpose still stands regardless of your past. Why? Because God didn't change his mind. God still have a purpose and a plan for your life. Whatever it is you're going through, seek God. Ask God for forgiveness. Line your life up with the word of God. And God will deliver you. God will heal you. If you miss me, Today at Facebook Live at 5 a.m., you can catch me on Gospel Time Machine at 6 a.m. every day. That's Gospel Time Machine at 6 a.m. every day. And it's in my um, comments right now. Thank you, Deacon Reed. Have a wonderful, blessed, awesome, awesome day. Do something um, that gives God the glory because he gets the glory out of my life. Have a wonderful, awesome day on purpose. Peace.